Roads across the state are closed because of that winter weather. Yeah, Fort Hatchett is live with more on how this is impacting truck drivers. Ford, they're really earning their money right now. Hey, good evening, guys. You know, those winds you hear Ember talk about the top 80 miles an hour. We have definitely felt the impacts today. It toppled fencing here at this temporary construction site. These little yellow sandbags, no match, and it's really making its impact on those truck drivers. Oh, you feel like you feel like I just want to fall. It wants to it wants to pull you over. You know, it wants to swing, swing you around. You just got to try to keep control of that just so it doesn't throw you off the road. The National Weather Service recording wind gusts as high as 88 miles per hour Wednesday. Just hold the wheels tight as you can and try to go. Don't go too fast, but keep it steady. Some drivers stopping rather than fight Mother Nature. You need to stop in the safety place. Um, you need to uh, check your tire. If you have any big low or little low, make sure they're completely attached. In addition to the winds, trucks rolling out on wet and slick asphalt to face road closures on several interstates. <laughs> Adding another headache for drivers. There's a lot of semis up there sitting, waiting, waiting it out to go up because that's the only way they got to get through. Some trying detours instead of waiting. And the last stop. Uh, has 14 hours to get to my destination, so I have to drive like three hours more to, to get to go to um to US 17. But all that time begins to add up. I'm going to Kansas. I'm supposed to make it there by 11 p.m. I'm not going to make it there till 8 a.m. tomorrow. And all those truck drivers asking anyone on the road to make sure you give them extra space just to make sure that everyone is staying safe. Faye? Ford, thank you.